Hello and welcome. My name is Kyle Furlan and welcome back to another episode of my full Black Ops 6 campaign walkthrough. This is episode number eight. And in the last episode, we played the mission called High Rollers, which was a ton of fun. And today we are jumping into the Rook Contact and the mission called Ground Control. But again, I've been really, really enjoying this campaign. It's absolutely amazing. At the time I'm recording this video currently, I have finished the campaign. So I will be uploading one part of this campaign walkthrough every single day for you guys leading up until we finish it. I believe that there's probably going to be about six more parts left of this campaign, which is wild to say. Definitely the longest campaign that we've had since probably Black Ops, probably Infinite Warfare, maybe even World War II. Regardless, it's been a very, very awesome campaign. The ending is amazing. We're going to get there here in the next couple episodes, but these, this upcoming mission is fantastic as well. So I, hope, I think you guys will really go to enjoy it. And without further ado, guys, we're going to jump right into it right after the High Rollers mission. And I'll see you guys all in the game. I say, look, you know you're in D.C., not fucking Alaska, mm. right? <laughs> yeah. Be quiet, but... And then Rome, I suppose. We have a problem. Okay, it's Felix. I have to. You can get back to that. Sadler. Say again? Marshal. He's gone. Elaborate? The lab's empty. Goose have fled. So we're fucked. Not yet. One scientist was still inside with a canister in the cradle. Like the one we picked up at the palace. And? We had a stimulating conversation. How stimulating? That, that airport's in a war zone. Even if we head your way soon, can we reach it? I have a CENTCOM connection in the area. It might be willing to help us. Might? Huh. Well, if we leave within the hour, we'll make it by morning. Out. Hey, let's get ready. We'll get some shut eye on the way. were impressive today. Finally, the legendary Felix Newman in action. Yes. What's on your mind? I need to make a confession. <laughs> I'm the furthest thing from a priest, Felix, but speak your peace. I am deeply ashamed of my actions in the casino. You take this non-violence thing seriously? Quite. But then I saw... Lutat... Nazi thugs... ...beating a defenseless man mercilessly... A senseless act of power. No one is innocent in that city. Afterwards, when I encountered the guard outside the vault, I lost control. In my eyes, he transformed into the avatar of everything I now reject. So I punished him. Good was probably less than what he deserved. If I lose myself to this endeavor, I am no better than the very enemy we seek to stop, yeah? Save your pity for the victims. You did what was needed to be done. No. My reaction was catharsis and indulgence. Paro and the Pantheon won't be stopped with kind words and gentle attitudes. There is always a choice, Savati. Not always. All right. Let's see, can we have any dialogue with Felix? I had a feeling that he wouldn't like doing what he did to all those people. Again, double checking the recording. I think it's funny though that that pops up for you guys. I don't know why, it just kind of does. All right, let's see, do we have any extra dialogue? You hear back from Livingston? No. 
But Felix sent him everything we know about Harrow and the Pantheon. Harrow might still have his ear. Or she doesn't. But he still doesn't trust us. Who fucking knows? He's gotta be rattled out of the way. Okay. Let's see if we have any more dialogue with anybody. We could also technically buy the training area if we wanted to. Never mind, we can't. We don't have enough cash to do that. Not that I think we really need to buy the training area. Doesn't seem to be too useful. Okay, but let's go and see if we have any dialogue with any of these other characters. We've got Woods. We've got a piano, apparently. We can play it. Now, we do actually get a challenge done. I was looking at the, the uh, campaign challenges. <clears throat> and for some reason, we didn't complete the pistol one. I don't really know why. Maybe to complete that challenge, you have to put all of all pistols in that specific area. I really don't know for sure. But at least it didn't say that we had to. But it just said use pistols. And we did use pistols the entire time. So I don't know why we didn't get it. Hey, but that's fine. I'll start backing up soon. My gut says he isn't, but I wouldn't bet the farm on it. Jane sure didn't try to protect him. Seemed fine keeping us on his trail. That bioweapon is strange. You were exposed, but obviously it wasn't as powerful as what they have now. My guess is that they're planning a spectacle of some kind. Something that'll scare the hell out of people. It's gonna be interesting. That's for sure. Okay. So I guess it's just so it's kind of convenient that we that I did go through all that dialogue. Hey, what's going on? It's strange, man. Even if we clear our names, get out alive. Don't think I can go back to the same life. This thing we got here, this group, it's good in its own fucked up way. No, but I haven't told anyone this yet. With Mason gone, I want to look after his boy, bring him up. I owe Mason that. And that kid, he's a good one. David. He's going to amount to something someday. Okay, well, so when it comes to this dialogue, I've been kind of quiet letting these play out. But if we play Black Ops 2, I think it's very, very cool how connected to Black Ops 2 this game is. Ironically, this game is more connected to Black Ops 2 than Black Ops 3 is, which is hilarious to me. But anyways, we... Since we know how he is towards David in Black Ops 2, I'm going to go with this top one. Maybe. I'm willing to give it a try, anyway. <laughs> You'll need somebody. Yeah, man. Enjoy Kuwait. Okay, beautiful. Let's go see if we have any other dialogue with any of the other characters. It would be awesome to complete that challenge. But then we'll just jump right into the next mission. It's kind of crazy that usually missions in Call of Duty are around an 30 minutes or 25 to 30 minutes long this game on the other hand every mission pretty much has been besides like one or two have been over an hour long perhaps a reevaluation of my priorities is or very close to an hour i should say this team deserves my best efforts okay he has no special dialogue all right guys next next mission time okay so we're going to be jumping into Ground Control, Mission Overview. Adler's got a buddy in CENTCOM who may be able to get us to the airport in Kuwait. It's in a hot zone, though. Better come through. Once Gusev gets his gets in the air, he'll be totally off the map. Okay. Our rewards is a tank charm for multiplayer. Pretty sweet. Then we have to kill 10 enemies with a Dragon Spread shotgun in a single playthrough of Ground Control. Awesome. Well, our goal is to find that Dragon Spread shotgun. All right, guys. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this.
Captain Sims. Not now. Figured if I stuck around hell long enough, I'd see the devil. How's he look? Not what I expected. I left Langley because of you. Remember that, don't you? Central Command, huh? It's above the table. Unambiguous. Maybe you should give it a try. No, no, it's a little late for me. So can you get us to Gusev? I can get you close. But, Doc, this is it for me. I'm on a different path now. Once you get what you need, I'm out. It's the second time I've heard that this week. Lord, give me strength. Get your crew. We're leaving five. Here we go. Now, do we have to find? Okay, we clearly have to find this dragon's breast shotgun somewhere. I bet we'll find it at some point. But this, gosh, this game looks so good. Every time I play this game, I'm like amazed about how good it looks. to the airport terminal. Airstrike cleared the way. Now, is this? Contact. Staff is on the overpass. Is that these Sims? The operator? Got motor fire. Clear them out. Enemy oh, I see you. Nice shot. Just one mortar team left. We gotta stop the mortar. Okay, let me go over here to the right. I think that's how we're gonna get this guy. Get these guys down. Where, where is that last motor? motor oh, it's right there. Headshot, really? Another headshot. Oh, another one. Let's go. Man, we are on the headshot game here. Let's go. Coming out the terminal. They're in our way. Push through them. I've always loved the sniping in campaign missions in Call of Duty forever. Then I don't have to ever worry about not being able to see enemies. Okay, beautiful. Clean up the stragglers. Oh, I missed. 
beautiful. Okay, let's see. We have a RPG right there. And we only have an MP5, which... I'm gonna try and let's get through that terminal. A baseball bat, really? Okay then. I wanna see if I can try and find that particular weapon, the Dragon's Breath Shotgun, at some point, but I'm sure it'll be easy to find. I don't think we have to guess at where it is. There's a GPR. That's a shotgun. Not waiting for us, Case. I feel like it'll say Dragon's Breath Shotgun. But I guess we'll find out. Plane is on the other side of this terminal. We still have a lot of ground to cover. Right, let's hurry. All right, let's see. Dragon's breast shotgun, where are you? They're gearing up the fence. We can sneak past. No time for that. A claw hammer. I really, I really want to find the shotgun. Some frags. Take it down. I'm gonna look all over the place for this thing. I feel like maybe it's. Oh, that's just a C9 and MP5. Again, I have a very strong feeling that it will actually say Dragon's Breast Shotgun. There's some C4. Maybe, there, maybe there's just going to be a specific enemy that has it. I'm oh, sorry, Adler. Oh, I bet that's the guy that's going to have it. If I were to guess... I need your shotgun. Okay, but let's not die while we're at it. Like I want to. I'm all for grabbing the shotgun, but not if it's gonna get me killed. No, oh, buddy. Here we go. There's some cash. You have to kill like ten guys this thing oh my gosh I'm gonna die okay let's just chill out Heck yeah. There we go. We got it. It's freaking good though. Oh my gosh. I'm going to keep using this thing. You can bet. See ya. Here, hold that for me guys. Okay, get down. We don't want to die. 
Well, there you go. Pick it up from the one guy. From those elite special enemies. Perfect. Just in case you guys were wondering how to do it. There you go. What's this? Got some injured here. Check your corners. They look unarmed. Stay cool. Arjuko, Saiduni. What? So I'm reaching for a gun. It's not armed. We got rules, Adler. Can we just get back to the mission? Oh, my God. Ammo cash on the counter. Gear up. Okay. I don't know if I want to get rid of my sniper for this, but... Okay, since we completed this challenge... Oh no, this is an SMG, you don't... Okay, here we go. See you later, guy. They haven't had Dragon's Breath shotgun in Call of Duty campaign, I believe, since Black Ops 1. <laughs> See ya. Nice knowing you, buddy. Sure didn't last long. Shotgun is sweet. Fantastic. There we go. Oh, that's a sniper. Okay, I kind of want to find more ammo for this shotgun. I don't know where it, where we would find more, though. I mean, they're usually pretty generous with those ammo boxes in this game. But... I think there's some ammo in here. Nope. Okay, well this was really fun while it lasted, but I think it's time for us to switch to some different weapons here. This is insane. Oh gosh, back up. Sorry, Sims, why do I keep being the hands from I don't know. He kind of just looks like a Pantheon guy. Hey, there we go. Ooh, man. There. That was a lot of those guys. Okay, but we gotta move. No way this plane's taking off now. It's pinned between us and the tank line. Marshal, we're about to board. Copy, grab him and go. Coalition's almost on your ass. Okay. Sweep the cabin. Cabin. Okay. Okay. 
Get down, get down, get down. Gotta be so careful here. You are very squishy without armor plates. Get down. Oh my Let's secure goodness. the cabin and find Goose. Go back down. I'm almost out of ammo. Nice. Oh my. That was not easy. Case, you're up. Clear. It's not Gusev's plane. We took the bait. Marshal, we need eyes on Gusev ASAP. Searching the area now. Tanks are almost here. Found him outside Terminal 3. They're taking him to a military cargo plane. Terminal 3? That's clear across the airport, Doc. So we shortcut it across the tarmac. The hell are you talking about, man? Those tanks? <coughs> How about now? Tarmac and we lose Goosem. We're sending ducks if we stay. I hate it when he's right. <laughs> okay then. Goosem's cargo plane is on the other side of the tarmac. You're gonna get pounded out there. No way we'll make it in time. I'll think of something. Keep moving. Oh gosh. I kind of need ammo. This is pretty crazy. So, this is the product when they don't have to rush a campaign. It almost just blasted Sims. Kingdom come right there. Be advised, you got coalition helos inbound from the east. Oh! Hold up, Rocky T-72 is incoming. The tanks are failing. Oh, who do you want me to have that my car? Got that right, get in. Don't push Oh my gosh, we have to drive a tank? Let's go! The coalition tanks are gonna be gunning for us in this T-72. Fuck oh, me! I'm gonna get pulverized with my own tank line. Oh my gosh. As I got eyes on a T-72 hauling ass across the tarmac like a madman. Yeah, that'd be us. <laughs> okay. Maintain heading to intercept go to the cargo plane. Take out those RPGs! Did we get them all? I think we did. Terminal 3 case, full speed ahead. They didn't have a chance. Oh, I'm going, trust me. Just like that egg, eh, Sims? Yeah, that was a shit show too. Oh, a little juggernaut. I don't think so. I don't think a tank's afraid of a juggernaut. Gosh, see, this campaign. I just keep enjoying it more and more and more every... Every single time I play this campaign, I, every mission just becomes more and more awesome each time I play a mission. Like, Emergence is probably still my favorite one, but... Such a cool campaign. We gotta go. Come on. You're a hard man to find, Kazoo. 
it's high time we had a chat. Please, the Pantheon forced me to help them. They threatened my family. You buying that, Sims? No, Kiss probably came with the what? It's a good thing we brought a lie detector. Ah! Chase, make him talk. Ooh. Punch ribs, punch nose. Jane Harrell brought me a biological agent, the Cradle, from an American lab. The Pantheon wanted me to make it infectious, more violent. The victims tear each other apart like animals. Who else is working with Harrell? Daniel Livingston? Never heard of him. I don't know. Why would they tell me? You're lying. No, I swear it. They don't share anything unless they need to. Case. I don't. I don't know. I don't. Please, you must believe me. Pull the plug, Case. No, no, stop. I don't know the target, but I can tell you where the weapon is. Keep talking. For Kuta, for the Russian prison camp. It became a bioweapon lab years ago, before it was shut down. But it still has what they need to scale up production of the cradle. That'll work. You can dispose of them now. What? No! Enough! He told us what he knows. Get soft in your old age, huh, Sims? You've got your ways and I've got mine. Gustav's in my custody now. Marshal, you catch all that? Affirmative. Mother Lowe's in Borkuta. I'll let the others know we're headed there. The cradle leaves that camp. The Pantheon can release it anytime, anywhere. Millions could be at risk. It's up to us. 